two teams play for a championship in the town named title. But after today, only one gets a chance to be super. It's the NFC Championship on Fox. Lombardi once stood upon this spot, known around the NFL as Camelot. And in his frozen kingdom, championships were as common as the chill in the air. Now, on this legendary field, a man named Favre has been knighted and is ready to carve a championship, fighting with his mighty sword to return Green Bay's glory back to this palace made from ice, where the fans live in legend with comrades of chill, and Reggie believes his fate is sculpted in snowy scripture. But the team of here and now is Carolina as they chisel away at their own fate. The NFL's new breed of cool cats are in a ferocious hurry for some history of their own. And today, they look to thaw this NFL giant. Like a clean sheet of ice, two years ago, Capers chipped away a divisional champ. And with a swarming charge of D, they scratched and clawed their way to creating some living legends of their own. Before Super Bowls were played, there was the Packers and the man named Lombardi who sculpted and molded this sacred grail. Today, championship play returns to the icy purity of Lambeau, and today's victor gets a chance to play for the ultimate championship and claim this trophy as their own. It's been nearly 30 years since the sun shone over Green Bay for a championship game, but this year's Packers have signaled the dawn of a new era. The Packer faithful have been here three hours before, and yes, the artists have found all kinds of canvases to perform their handiwork on. Yep, the faithful, they know their hometown team well, including, yes, the brats. Signals here in Green Bay of good food. Folks who helped to establish this as Title Town, including Paul Horning, they're all here to cheer on the modern version of the Green Bay Packers. Here at Lambeau Field, newly sodded, the grass looks outstanding, the footing should be pretty decent. And the players, well, you think they might be talking about how cold it is? Well, guess what? It's not too bad. Maybe a volley. 10 degrees one hour before a game with the wind chill that's about 15 below and hello everyone i'm james brown snugly here with my guys who know a little thing about championship a city brought to life by the energy of a magnificent packer tradition a tradition with legends as big as any in pro football but today's green bay packers seek to create a legacy of their own and in 1996, expectations ran high, and the Packers delivered. Last week, Green Bay continued its championship drive with a convincing win against the 49ers. And today, 30 years since their first Super Bowl, they are determined to return once again. Two years ago, the National Football League welcomed the city of Charlotte. Up until last week, the upstart Carolina Panthers were the NFL's best-kept secret. But after a monumental performance against the defending world champions, they're a secret no longer. And suddenly, in only their second season, they seek to gain the ultimate respect, a trip to Super Bowl 31. He wants everyone to know that he feels better about it. Pass is picked off by Sam Mills. And Mills is to the one-yard line of Green Bay. And Sam Mills, remember the play that he made last week, the same thing, just play in that zone. You watch him, he's just going to come back and just drop right to the, here's, here's Sam Mills, see him in his zone drop, zone drop. He's looking, he's looking at yep. Favre and running to that slant area. Now Favre... Here's Collins. Wide open is Howard Griffith. Nobody in the area even. We were just talking about the combination of the fullback works with the tight end. Remember last week it was Wesley Walls who was wide open on a play pass. This play is Howard Griffith wide open on the play pass. Watch Griffith. He's a fullback. He's going to come right out here and into the flat. You see the fake? No one gets him. He's all open, all by himself. And Kerry Collins just zoop, just zips that thing out there. Perfectly. But they didn't account for Howard Griffith. Casey's extra point is good. And Carolina Lee, 
lead seven to nothing at Lambeau Field in Green Bay on a touchdown by the most underrated guy. Works in combination with the tight end and then on that touchdown that was a perfect example of that short kick by Casey Desmond Howard at about the 18 and he's gone. Finally chased down by Rod Smith receivers for the Packers. The handoff is to Dorsey Levin. Levin inside the Carolina 30 to Bay. I wonder who turned on the fountain. Chris Jackie is short with the field goal. The ball just doesn't go as far. And they force him into late. Third one. And this is Levin. To the midfield. 40. Davis, 35 yard game by Levin. Instead of a blocker, first down at the 29. Far back to throw it. For Levin. Touchdown. That far was the last down. Dorsey Levin lines up all. Jackson goes to the inside in the post. Levins just goes outside. Eric Davis is right there with him. It's a jump ball, and Dorsey Levins wins the jump ball. Eric Davis was kind of lackadaisical on occasion last week, and he was again. Brett Favre happy about the situation. Far back to throw it. Scrambles out of pocket, dropped the ball, and now the scramble, and the Panthers are saying we've got it. It was him. Collins fakes, and now he's going to throw, and has a man open inside the Packer 30. That's Collins on second down will throw, and done. Wesley Walls hit hard, he score. Strong left leg. And Carolina Panthers again take the lead. 10-7. 22 yard field goal. 840 left to play in the first half. One for a touchdown to Dorsey Levins. That's Bennett. Bennett second down, Green Bay. About four, sorry. To Freeman from far. Second and eight. Far back to throw it. Gets it to Levens, and Levens gets across the 30, about the 28. Packers move back to their 28, and Farr drops the throw. Rising at the 7. Farr lost it in the end zone. Touchdown, Freeman. Antonio Freeman put the move. No Lambo leap between Favre and Butler. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but they got it going after they score each touchdown. Chris Jackie adds the extra point. It was a great move by Antonio Freeman. It's an old post corner. He starts in. He gets Tyrone Poole coming into the post like it's a slant, and he runs it back to the corner, and he took Tyrone Poole in there, and he made him slip, and then he came back there, and he was wide. He's here somewhere looking for another hit. By Tyrone Williams, one-handed to the left. Far. Rising. Out of bounds. Block. Far. Freeman. Inside the 15 to about the 14. No fake. Jackie's good from 31 yards out. Panthers and Packers. Head for their locker room. Green Bay leading at 17-10. Barb. Don Beebe. Who played last year with Carolina. 
and just ran away from it on the crossing pattern. Arv rolls, chase, throw, pass complete to Jackson. The quarterback sneak haven't been so successful why they didn't do it. Jackie from 32 yards out is good. 20 to 10. The Packers lead. 16 left in the third. Come on a blitz. Collins throws in a hurry. Pass is caught by Carrier, who's still on his feet. Carrier out of bounds inside the Packer 30 quarter. Here's Collins. Fakes the reverse. Throws the screen, and it is set. Is it ever set? Johnson scrambles down just outside the 10. Casey will try from 23 yards out. And that's good. 20 to 13. The Panthers get on the board again. He always has a heated head. Screen coming. That's Levens. Darcy Levens. To the 30. 20. Knocked out of bounds inside the 10 and about the five yard line by Tyrone Poole. If Darcy Levens doesn't watch out, he's going to break all kinds of playoff records today. And they still do it. That's pretty good. They have to be able to get out there and get in position to hit it. Bennett, touchdown. Edgar Bennett put it in the end zone from four yards away. point and he does the offensive line has taken over on that short yardage on that goal line play no one touched Edgar Bennett 27 13 Green Bay safeties on this Packer team oh, the Packers come up with it Johnson had a hole behind that I don't know what the story is but there's something to that goatee that's Antonio Freeman on the quick slam. Chris Jackie nails another one. And the Packers lead it 30 to 13. Ten minutes and two seconds left. Yeah. Well, I said the players have oh, there it is. <laughs> I mean, that is a full three. Put it right on his head. Ice it all. Well, we got cheese heads. Now we got an ice head. That's a snow cone. This team loves Mike Holmgren. The clock's still running. Still 40 seconds left on the clock. I mean, you don't care. I remember when we won a Super Bowl. I didn't see the last five minutes. You can't. So the Packers, as time has expired, beat the courageous Carolina Panthers 30 to 13. Boy, you can't say enough good things about the job that these guys have done. The Carolina Panthers in just their second year yeah. make it this far. And they did it their way. They did it the hard way. They didn't have a lot of great players. Dom Capers, the coach of the year, deserved that. And they did a heck of a job getting here, but they just weren't good enough for the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers are going to be in the Super Bowl. Won 18 straight games here at Lambeau Field. A lot of credit goes to coaching. A lot of credit goes to players. A lot of credit goes to this field, this town, and these fans. These fans are unbelievable.